wondered what a Pakistani supermarket is like? Well, wait no further, because today we're about to find out. We are here at the Imtiaz Mega, or maybe it's Mega Imtiaz, I'm not sure. This is a major chain of supermarkets all around Pakistan. Right now, I'm gonna take you into the one right here in Lahore. We are staying in the Goldberg neighborhood, been in Lahore for a few days. I need to stock up on some essentials. Need some water, I need some snacks, and I'm very, very excited to see uh, how their grocery stores compare to those around the world. As you can tell by the insane traffic behind me, it's very, very busy right now. So I'm curious if the grocery store is gonna be just as busy. Making our way over these rocks to the entrance. Wow, this place looks gigantic. I think it actually might be a department store uh, as well as a grocery store. I can already see we've got some makeup, uh, some women uh, selling different cosmetic items and things like that. Oh, we've got a lot of people lined up here with groceries, with goods, uh, waiting for their cars to arrive. Wow, we've got some mannequins. I think there's going to be clothes here as well. This is the out entrance. We don't want to go there. We want to go to the inn entrance. And here we go. Wow. Is this thing really four floors? Well, all those floors actually actually look kind of empty. So I don't think there's anything going on up there. So again, it must be two floors all together. Let's start at the ground floor. I'm here mostly interested in food. Not really interested in the cosmetic parts or the hair care parts, the deodorant stuff, or anything like that. Hello, salam, salam. Let's see. Uh, let's see where we should go. Wow, we got. Okay, looks like clothing that way. Let's walk through these doors right here. Wow. Okay, we've got tons of different shoes, uh, scarves, and and wraps and things like that. Oh wow! Now we're in the Best Buy section. Salam, salam. Wow. Look at all these. Really, really intricate dresses look at the color and the style on them absolutely beautiful i'm a firm believer that the more colorful your outfit the more colorful your clothes the happier you are at least that's how i feel when i wear brightly colored clothes my energy levels my happiness just goes through the roof all right we've got uh some like tvs and stuff like that we've got uh, appliances water uh, water systems refrigerators it looks just like a, a best buy or a sears back in the united states where is that food where is that food? more and more uh appliances we've got some ovens over there electronics keyboards computer stuff a super insect killer i think i need one of those uh for the room i'm staying at because there's a lot of flies in there all right we've now made our way to the toothpaste aisle yeah, very uh, American style selection of toothpaste here. They got the big brands like Colgate, Sensodyne. We've got uh, classic toothbrushes over here. I feel very, very at home walking through this, this supermarket. Uh, Batman toothbrushes, oh my gosh, I'm already, I'm already making a mess in, in the supermarket. Not, not in the mega empties, no, no, no. Salam, salam, hello friends. Okay, we're walking down one of the main food aisles now. Looks like we've got a lot of dry goods. Appears to be a lot of um, like lentils. Oh boy. Oh, look. Yes. Can you take a pause? Am I taking a pause? What? No. I mean to say it's according to the recipe. Did you get any permission from the Oh no. Or the Do I need permission? Yeah. Can I have That's permission? It. I'm, I'm no, making I... videos for YouTube to show what uh, Pakistan is like. Uh, well, it's. Uh, very nice of you, but uh, there are some rules and regularity which will uh, allow without permission any photography ah, or video. Okay, yeah. who, who so can I get permission from? Uh, I will uh, get the admin. Thank you, thank you. I will be here. I will show. Uh, I will show him my channel. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I, 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 I guess. Uh, I guess we can't film in here, but uh, we're gonna find out. One second. Okay, the admin has given me permission to film. So I want to say thank you, shukriya, to all my new friends here. Pakistan, beautiful Pakistan country. Pakistan, Zindawa. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much, my friends. Yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, so we are back on track. Wow, okay, these must be cricket rackets. Uh, 
$13.55 for the whole Cricket Racket set. They got the sets for little kids. They got some weights if you're trying to get strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw a couple of those in the backpack and, and, and bulk up. All right. Oh, okay. Some more toys here. Some board games. You got sequins. Got a foosball table. Karaoke. Catch bugs. Salam, salam. Lights. Planning sets. This, the store has everything. I mean, this is, if, if you know, I, I was just dropped in here alone, I would think I was at a department store back in the United States or something. And we got your toilet papers and we got your towels and everything we need. I'm here, I, I, just, I just really need some water and snacks. I don't need anything down the diaper aisle. Let's, salam, salam. Let's, let's go take a look at the men's threads here. Ooh, I like that shirt. That's a, that's a nice, nice shirt. Wow. Good colors. We got some jeans. This fabric seems very, very durable. Got your socks. We got some short sleeve type polo shirts. Cool designs on them. Ooh. Swaggy, swaggy pocket pants. Versace? Not sure if that's actual Versace being sold in, uh, in the grocery store, in the, in the MTOS Mega. I, I can't verify. If those brands are real or authentic all right now we're in the baby clothes aisle a place we really really don't need to be okay we've got some doll mash all these dried beans and lentils the prices look good we've got some like what is this maybe some dried dried fruits dried spices I don't recognize what's this oh we've got cardamom Wow, so this is like the seasonings aisle. In a lot of other places uh, around the world, the seasonings come in plastic container. Here, they come in bags. Wow. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I will get permission to film here. Of course, you know, we, all... we always want to adhere to the rules and, and not make anybody uncomfortable. We've now found our way in the condiment aisle. Oh, we've got some chicken spread, some fajita sauces right here. Spicy mayo, garlic mayo. Interesting that they don't seem to rely on the plastic containers here. Rather, they use uh, a bag format for the sauces and, and, and the mixes and, and things like that. That's really, really interesting. And we've got a bunch of vinegars here. I mean, you could absolutely find everything you need uh, at this grocery store, it seems right now. Salam, salam. Wow. And I think I came here at definitely a very busy time. Okay, we're at the hot sauce area. This is an area of the grocery store that calls out uh, to my heart. We got the pure heat. We got the red and hot, the Chinese chili, the chili sauce, the soy sauce. Wow, 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 wow. Big, big giant jugs too. All right, I'm gonna try to go down the aisles where there's not so many people. Look at this, more hot sauces. There must be 200 different types of hot sauces. Uh, at this at this grocery store right now, well, they've even got the sriracha, the spicy mayo one. That one's very hard to find back home in the United States. Wow! And then more tomato sauces and ketchups over here. We've got the shampoos, the conditioners, all all of that stuff. Wow! Just a absolutely incredible amount of what appear to be local Pakistani brands and then major international brands. I've I've, I've seen things like sun silk all over the world from Argentina uh, to Guatemala to even in Turkey that's a very very popular brand okay now we're going down the canned food aisle here fruit cocktails olives chilies things like that mixed pickles okay what is it what's it what's the thing a corn cost 200 Pakistani rupees for the corn let me hit that up and see what the cost of a can of corn is here in a Pakistani grocery store. One second, just so everyone at home can get an idea. One can of corn, 89 cents. I think that's kind of on par with what you'd pay for a can of corn back in the United States. I haven't purchased corn myself ever in my life, but I used to work in a grocery store for a long, long time. And uh, that, that price seems in line for what corn should cost. Okay. Wow, check this out. We've got the syrup aisle. These are all your toppings for ice cream. We've got the strawberry syrup, the blueberry flavor. Ooh, kiwi topping syrup. That's interesting. Golden syrup. I bet this one is, is the absolute best right there. Lyle's. That looks incredible. Cane sugar. Oh, 
Betty Crocker, more of a taste of home. I wonder if these are imported goods or if they're sold um, all over Pakistan. Really, really interesting. Boom, we're talking all the puddings, all the puddings you need, the jellos, the cereals, the choco chuckles, the corn flakes, the bran flakes. Same, uh, same cereals you'd find back in the United States and Europe, just with different names. The fruitus, okay, gonna go out on a limb and say those are probably Fruit Loops or their variety of Fruit Loops here. More like baking powders and cocoa powders and porridges and ooh, this one comes with a bowl to make the oats in. We're gonna go upstairs where the snacks are and I think we've got to take one of these elevators. They're waiting to get on an elevator. This elevator just opened. All right, we have found the stairs. We're not gonna waste our time taking that elevator. Up we go. Salam. Good, good, how are you? Salam, salam. Wow, okay, am I going the right way? I think maybe I'm going the right way. Yeah, 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 there's where we wanna go. Okay, there's the eggs, there's the dairy. You just climb over all that debris. Oh, the vegetable section, we got some potatoes. Let's go explore the frozen foods and see what they have in store. Oh, we've got shrimp, we've got samosa, phyllo, whole oh, plain frozen paratha, whole wheat paratha, chicken paratha, wow. Big bags of french fries, straight cut french fries, crinkle cut french fries, more thin cut french fries, more frozen vegetables, chicken, ooh, chicken crispy shots. I want some of those. The hotel I'm staying at unfortunately did not come with the full kitchen. Here we've got what appears to be the seafood. Salam, salam. Wow, giant. What kind of fish? Rahu, fish mahi. I wonder if that's like mahi mahi, I can't tell. Some more shrimp, some prawns. We've got the pre-made patties and meatballs over there. Sodas, again, Pepsi seems to be very dominant. Almost as much Pepsi as Coca-Cola. And then we've got the chopped meat area over here. Salam, salam. Oh, we got whole veal, mutton neck, mutton chops, mutton leg with the breast. Oh, it looks delicious, looks amazing. Wow, more mutton pie of brain. Brain? You're not gonna find brain in your average United States or European grocery store. We've got the six packs of the water. That's essentially one thing we gotta throw in the bag. I'm kind of far from the uh, hotel, so I'm gonna see how much I can fit and try to carry in here. And we've got all the fruit juices, we've got the real fruit. I hope it's not too loud with these overhead announcements going on. Salam, salam. We've got a uh, big selection of tea here. Fruit vitals, some sort of juice from Nestle. Your typical average fruit juice. Europeans, Middle Easterns, Indians, everybody seems to really like Sprite. I think behind Coca-Cola and Pepsi, Sprite's gotta be the most popular soda in the world, right? Oh, now we're talking, it's the cookie aisle, the biscuit aisle, big, big packs of all sorts of stuff. We've got cream fills, like little cakes, they kinda look like Twinkies, big time marble cake slices, chocolate cake slices. Incredible, <gasps> Kokomo, take me to Kokomo. Biscani. A lot of uh, brands of snacks and cookies around the world, like we talked about the Fruit Loops earlier, kind of look similar to other brands. This packaging screams Nestle, but it is not Nestle. Here we've got coconut crunch cookies, party pack cookies. We're definitely gonna get some of these and do a review on them later cruising down the dairy aisle now we've got all these butters I'm, I'm blown away by the selection here i mean they were not joking around when they said mega the amount of food here is is staggering it's like a gigantic typical european united states grocery store we got the eggies some pizza crust salam Oh, now we're talking. We are in at the ice cream area. We got the Corte d'Or. We got whatever that is, pistachio ice cream. More ice cream over there. Oh, it's so hot. This is an oasis right now. The cold 
drink section. We got that Gatorade. No Haterade, just Gatorade, baby. We've got club soda, epic stimulant drink. Uh, here is uh, the water section. Definitely coming back here to get some cold water. Uh, some interesting glass bottle fruit juices here. Moosey drink, peach bottle. Okay, these kind of look like, ah yeah, sparkling fruit juices, like the Welch's ones uh, that you would like give the kids uh, who aren't old enough to drink. If it's a New Year's Eve, they're gonna pop off that sparkling apple juice and, and celebrate. Okay, all the juices are here. Red grape juice. We got Mountain Dews. We got apple sidra, like an apple cider. Fanta, not a lot of Fanta here. People from all around the world love Fanta. What do we got here, more cookies? We already got, no, no, this is more cookies. These are, oh, egg biscuits, Prince chocolate. Those look amazing. I've had something similar to those um, in, in, in South America. Do not open the box? Okay, I won't. Chocolate chip cookies, yuppie cookies. Salam, salam, my friend. Oh, it's just absolutely packed in here. Okay, now we've got some more dry. Oh, we got the sugar area over here. Some mixers for your drinks, some star cola, some gulab. These kind of look like syrups that you would pour on maybe ice and things like that. I don't know if those are actually for drinking. The digestive cookies. Wow, okay, you've definitely seen these if you visited around the world. Butter cookies, people love those. All the classics are here, all the, all the classics. Okay, whoa, check it out. We've got a whole chocolate candy area, but it's all refrigerated. We got the Kit Kats, we've got a lot of Kit Kat. Oh, imported products, okay. We got the milk of the hazelnut stuff. Ooh, which one's this? Kit Kat orange flavor. Got a lot of Kit Kats from around the world, and especially when I went to Japan. Orange? Nah, no thanks, not gonna try that one. We got the Tiger Eye, never seen that. Oh, Crunchy Strawberry, I've had that somewhere. Not my favorite. Interesting that these are all the imported snacks. Okay, now we got some dates in there. I absolutely love dates. Uh, people in the USA, they don't eat enough dates. They don't eat enough fiber. They need more dates in their diets. Okay, we've got some po white pomegranates? I never even knew that existed. I've only seen red pomegranates in my life. What is a white pomegranate? Salam, salam. Okay, we've got pears, some mangoes, some apples. Okay, oh, this is the like nut section and more dates. Like, uh, oh, hello, salam, salam, my friend. And we're back to more biscuits. Okay, just the amount of cookies uh, in this grocery store is staggering. Classic Oreos, we love them. Oh, Lotus Biscoff. I just had a Lotus donut the other day when I was in Turkey. That was incredible. What is this? Hello, my friend. How are you? Yeah. Good, good. Salam, salam. <laughs> okay, more wafers, as you can see. Wafer City, we got the Quadratani, Loker, these look imported as well. Whoa, look at all these popcorn varieties. I'm a popcorn fanatic, one of my favorite snacks. We got natural cheese, butter, who is this guy? Looks like a Pakistani general or something. <gasps> Jalapeno, oh wait, it's imported. I wonder where that's from, we gotta see. Where does this, where does this product come from? Let's see, it's a product of, uh, uh, great content right here, uh, Karachi, oh. It's a product of uh, Pakistan then. Okay. Very interesting military style here. We got the Magic Pops. We got the five for one Caramel Magic Pops. That jalapeno sounds good. Some of these foods really make me wish I had an Airbnb so I had my own kitchen uh, to cook with. But unfortunately, salam, that's not in the cards. We've got the batteries, power up, Duracell. Energizer, what was the phrase? It just keeps going and going, something like that. The shopping, the lines, mega, salam, mega, mega lawn. People are, oh, more candy? More fruit juice? Wow, okay. Now we got, now we got the hard candies. More imported stuff, the damla, the suchete, damla sour, the high milk. Oh, this looks to be some type of like Ferrero Rocher. 
um, I don't want to say Ferrero Rocher ripoff, but like uh, inspired by Ferrero Rocher. We've got Skittles, very small bags of Skittles compared to uh, other countries around the world. Again, all this screams Ferrero Rocher, but it's not. Fairy Rose, very, very similar. Oh man, Tofino, soft milk, Claire's, big, big bags. I don't see any Haribo though. Haribo, if you've never had them, they're uh, can. I wanted to say hello to all my new friends that just came uh, to say hello in the grocery store. And we've got a very special guest right here. Could you, could you tell everybody your name and the name of your channel? My name is Shalika Khan. My channel is Shalika Khan. Okay, I'll make sure to put uh, that in the text right here so people will follow you. What kind of videos do you make? and challenges and travel amazing high five oh yes it was so nice to meet you my friend thank you thank you my friends okay more new friends at the grocery store what are your names my name is Samran nice to meet you Samran and your name my name is Hizan Hizan so nice to meet you my friends thank you thank you oh like I said the people in Pakistan are so nice hello uh, can you please send me those Y'all, my heart is so full. The reception that people are giving me here, how nice everybody is in Pakistan. Just, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. All right, let's keep continuing on. I think the last thing we have to find are the snacks, are the chips. You guys, you don't care about bananas or donuts or turnips or cabbage. I mean, I care about bananas. I really like bananas, but let's find the chippos. I, I have a suspicion that they're over here just by, yes. Maybe <gasps> snacks and chips. But first, some more candy. We got the Mentos. We got the Spout, the fruit, Ella, and the Dairy Milk Bubbly. Oh, there are the Haribo. I think I was uh, I got cut off when I was talking about these. Wow, Haribo Kubiks. I have not seen those before. You know, uh, in an earlier video, I met this amazing family that was living by the train tracks and I gave them a bunch of European candy. I want to keep doing things like that. I want to help the people uh, that are in need in these countries like this. And while I can't give a lot of money, I hopefully, you know, when I give them uh, some kind of food, it leaves them a great memory. Man, these announcements are so loud. Okay, Chippo time. We got the hot and spicy popcorn, toffee popcorn, salted popcorn, barbecue popcorn. You know what? I'm getting this one. I'm, I'm definitely coming back to get that one. <gasps> Masala Lays. You ain't gonna find those back in the U.S. Oh, ketchup Cheetos. Okay, okay. I'm kind of, are, are there no regular Cheetos? You gotta be kidding me. There's also like no price tags here too, or maybe down there there's, there's a price. But, uh, oh, okay, here we go, classics. Peri Peri Pringles? What? Masala Tadka Pringles? Peanuts? More candy? What is this stuff? Like, oh, some like doll and some like dried fruits and stuff. Oh, we missed these. We missed these chips. Some imported pizza chips. Ooh, tortilla chips with hot chili. Hot and spicy. Prawn crackers. Ooh, I love those when I went to uh, Southeast Asia, Thailand, and places like that. More chips. I think these might be the local brands, the Super Crisp and the Masalas, more Masalas, the Caddy Chins, Salanties, oh, Snackers, French Cheese, mm -hmm. French Cheese, I wonder what that tastes like. All right, my friends, it's time to wrap it up. We've covered everything in the grocery store and the department store. Mega, mega thanks uh, to the admin for giving me approval to come here and to be able to film and show this amazing grocery store slash supermarket slash department store with all of you. Special thanks to all the nice people that came up to me and wanted to take a picture with me and asked about my channel. Beyond, beyond sweet, beyond moved. I'm going to go uh, buy a couple things here. Let me know, my Pakistani friends, what I should eat, what snacks I should eat while I'm in Pakistan. I will make a video of me just eating snacks uh, that you recommend and making sure to rate them as well so uh, you can get my thoughts on what's really, really good here in the snack aisle in Pakistan. My name's Brent Tim from the Lahore, Pakistan, and I'm saying ciao for now. Where are you from, my friends? I am from Pakistan, he is from Nigeria. Nigeria, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> incredible, incredible. 